remember the first week I opened my own salon. And one of my multimillionaire clients was giving me advice. And I don't know about you, but when multimillionaires give me advice, I usually try to remember it. Manny Lozano, he said, Patricia, I don't care when you can't squeeze another stylist in your salon. I don't care when you can't get another client on your appointment calendar. You still keep promoting because you always have to resell the customers you have. This is still the place they want to come. So when it comes to serving our members, life might be a series of sales situations, but the real sale is always after the sale, reminding them what a good decision it was to do business with us. And as we reflect, one way to learn and educate ourselves is to think, what did I learn without realizing it from some of my bosses and good managers? My first boss, Mr. Paul, when I was 15 year old, years old, I saw him treat every woman who came in our salon like the only one in the world for the amount of time that she was there. And I thought that was a great lesson in customer service. But now that I'm sophisticated, now that I've been in business and I reflect, I realize what I was really learning. You see, I saw my boss treat the woman who worked in the Carlton Hotel as a waitress, as well as the little old lady who lived in the penthouse of the Carlton Hotel. Because now I realize that a waitress who has an affluent clientele of a couple of hundred people a day actually has a sphere of influence a lot greater than the rich little lady who lives in the penthouse. See, I'm sure you have some sort of message for the people who work with you because if you roll out the red carpet for a billionaire, they don't notice. You roll out the red carpet for a millionaire, they expect it. You roll out the red carpet for a thousandaire, they appreciate it. But when you roll out the red carpet for a hundredaire, they tell everybody they know.